In this tutorial, we solve a typical exam type question involving the midpoint of a line segment. We can see here that we have a line segment with endpoints P and Q. And the scenario here is the following. We have the coordinates of one of the endpoints, in this case P with coordinates 2, 13. We also have the coordinates of the midpoint, in this case M with coordinates 5, 7. And we need to find the coordinates of the other endpoint Q. We'll be learning two methods for doing this, and the method we learn in this tutorial is rather intuitive and is very useful when we're dealing with coordinates like the ones we have here, nice round numbers. So let's go ahead and see how we would do that. Starting from the end point P, we have to find how to get to the midpoint M, assuming we can only move horizontally and vertically. Well, since P has X coordinate 2 and M has X coordinate 5, to get from P to M, we need to move 3 units to the right. So that would be plus 3 in the X direction. Remember, when we move to the right, it's positive, and when we move to the left, it'd be negative. In a similar way, we can see that to get from P to M, since the Y coordinate of point P is 13 and the Y coordinate of point M is 7, we'd have to move 6 units downwards. So that would be negative 6. Remember, when we move upwards, it's positive, and when we move downwards, it's negative. So to get from P to M, we would have to move 3 units to the right and 6 units downwards. But now, since M is the midpoint of the line segment, to get from the midpoint M to the endpoint Q, which is the point we're looking for, we're going to have to follow exactly the same steps. In other words, starting from M, we'd have to move 3 units to the right, so that's plus 3, and 6 units downward, so that's minus 6. And using that fact, we can work out what the coordinates of point Q have to be. Indeed, if we start from the coordinates of point M, which remember were 5 and 7, then to find the coordinates of the end point Q, we have to add 3 to the X coordinate and take away 6 from the Y coordinate which corresponds to moving 3 units to the right and downwards by 6 units. So point Q has coordinates 5 plus 3, which is 8, and 7 minus 6, which is 1. And we're done. We've just found the coordinates of the end point Q. What's nice about this method is how intuitive it is, and as much as possible I would encourage everyone to use it. Nonetheless, if ever we're dealing with more complicated coordinates or say we had to program a computer to find the other endpoint, well, in such cases, the next method we'll learn may be more useful. So I would encourage you to make sure you also watch the next tutorial. For now though, that's it for this tutorial.